Hello there, welcome to Target Radio Podcasts. Yes, we have a podcast for your ears. Every week here on the show, on our live shows that is, we try and get an interesting uh, person, persons, uh, artists, band members, music, poets, film playwrights. Uh, We even get, uh, well, we try and get everyone. We try and get everyone that's interested in our genre of music that we portray here on Target Radio. So what we do is sit them down, we have a telephone interview, sometimes a live interview and we discuss all things in their profession so stay tuned here uh this one is an absolute blast you're gonna love this and uh, i'll be back at the end to obviously uh you know tell you what's coming up in the very near future so it is i am the pod father um i will now tell you that this is target radio podcasts don't forget to check us out on itunes and if you think we deserve it don't forget to leave us a five star rating that would be rather nice thank you very much indeed so over to uh me cookie and obviously to andy top walker as well and sit in sit tight and enjoy this is target radio Dear god in heaven please let this show go okay with no major boobs or goofs or is it goofs Please don't let me tread all over the intros of records or say a naughty word. I listen to Sean Cook. Oh, Sean Cook. We'd like to say that, in our opinion, it is not suitable for children or for those of you who may have a nervous disposition. Sean Cook. And a very and a very good evening. Welcome, it's Friday. The end of the working week for some. Some of them, uh, some people haven't even gone to work. They're furloughed. That means they can sit in the garden all day if you've got one. Drinking uh, iced tea or other substances. It's the 15th of May 2020. We're still in lockdown. But are we coming to the end? Who knows? I'm really confused. So I'm saying no more about it. As long as you stay safe, wash them hands, stop touching your face. Uh, you, yes, I'm talking to you. Got to stop scratching it. Anyway, on tonight's show, we've got a bit of bow wow wow, some Adam in the ants. We've even, even, oh, look at this. David Bowie. Oh, I like a bit of Bowie. Some Ultravox. Even some undertones. We're going to be doing the birthdays with Little Cookie. She's here for a change. Hello, Little Cookie. Hello. A rare appearance of our birthday announcer. You've not done it all week. I've been busy. <laughs> You've been what? Busy. Okay, then. I know, you're a, a daughter of a key worker, and so you go to school three days a week, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Sitting there scoffing crisps. Honestly. Just had your dinner as well. Also, I'm going to have a look at a brand new piece of music this evening called Hands Up, featuring Roddy Radiation Byers. And performed by the AKA The Syndicate with a good friend of mine, Mr. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll explain more later. Yes, I will, Sean Williams. Anyway, we'll do a Facebook Live as well, I think. I look dreadful, but who cares? Okay, let's start off then with the cars and my best friend's girl. I nearly said the wrong thing then. There we go. That was the Boomtown Rats and someone's looking at you. I'm just hoping that this person I'm phoning right now, just off the uh, top of my head, um, have we got Sean Williams from The Beat uh, on the other end of this phone? <laughs> you may have. That would have been un- <laughs> uncalled for. Well, yeah. uh, well, I like to surprise my guests once in a blue moon. How are you, Sean? How's the lockdown I'm, treating you, my friend? I'm very well, thank you. How are you? <laughs> not too bad. I think it's the first time I've done this um, live Live on the air, where I've actually not uh, preempted it. So oh fantastic! Thank you very much for jumping on very quickly. Uh, yeah, no no notice at all. 
<laughs> anyway, um, I saw something on Facebook. I think many of us actually have um, from a brand new um, well, piece of art. That's all I can say. I've, l- I've listened yeah. to it a few three or four times now uh, yeah. via YouTube, and it's called Hands Up. Now, just run us through a very quickly. Uh, what's it about, please, Sean? Well, basically, um, a guy called Gary Knight, who I met uh, while I played with uh, Simmery. Okay. Uh, which was Monty Naismith, uh, who did all the, the skinhead Moonstorm stuff and all that. Oh, um, great. <laughs> Uh, he he got a load of stuff together, and he's he's wrote a load of songs, and they're all wonderful songs. Yeah. And he and he's got different musicians, myself, Roddy Byers. He's got um, he's trying to get uh, Maggie from Scarlet Fantastic and Claire uh, Clara from uh, Dankus Ganks, and also um, the bass player from the Damned and all other all, all other people involved. Yeah. Um, just to play on these these songs uh, and release as like a almost a, a an old fashioned concept LP, you know, sort of uh, out there. But it, 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 they're all sim- very similar, very scary sort of stuff, a bit reggae. But they're all uh, completely new songs. Mm-hmm. Uh, and um, he, he's bringing them out, and uh, we've done one. The, this one's a bit more uh, towards Neville's Staples uh, charity for a knife crime as well. Yeah, of course, uh, yeah. That runs quite uh, through the uh, whole video as well, doesn't it? It's actually yeah, very powerful if you watch it, ladies and gentlemen. It's a really powerful video if you watch it. It's mm-hmm. brilliant. I love it. Yeah, so it, it, we've, we've done that, and um, obviously Roddy's got involved, and uh, uh, the guy who's recorded it, he, he's also... Uh, he was the old player out of uh, Temple Tudor and King Kurt, so there's a lot of, you know, uh, good things going through it, and... Yeah, um, yeah. Hopefully, people enjoy it and um, uh, uh, and do it. So it's it's a it's a bit of a novelty thing, really. The first thing I've been involved, I was honoured that uh, Gary asked me to actually uh, play on it. Uh, and it, and it is it's good, yeah. good, yeah. Yeah, a little yeah. P- little picture comes up on the left hand side of you playing on the uh, the sexy sax, as I call it. <laughs> <laughs> But no, overall, yeah. I mean, obviously, this was uh, created uh, during lockdown, wasn't it? So, um, it was, yeah. So how did you manage to do that? How did you manage to get that so good, though? Well, one, the recording is all individual, really, yeah. as well. It, it, everybody's. It, I didn't meet Roddy when he did it. Uh, I, I, obviously, Gary came down. Yeah. Uh, when, when I originally done it, we, we did the sax bit before, just before uh, lockdown. But every everybody else. Has just come individually and just added added onto it, and the, the video was done just in bits and dabs. And Aaron, the singer, uh, did the majority of it himself, and it's it, it's all been done uh, separately. So it, it, how we've done the video is is really quite good as well. Absolutely, been, absolutely. You know, I mean, it's got. Together. Um, I'll be honest with you, the actual video itself, it's got a little bit of sort of, uh, dare I say, and I'm not, I mean, obviously, for those that love the Prodigy, it's got a little Prodigy feel to it. The actual video itself is very powerful, but very yeah. gritty as well. I like it. Yeah, well, I think that was the the, the main reason. You know, it's quite a powerful song, uh, and uh, the, the, the video itself was done because uh, not that I had a lot to do with this, I must admit. In fact, I just stood by the side and watched them do it. Really. But, uh, <laughs> you're uh, you're so uh, modest. It's, it, it, it's, uh, this is all Aaron and Gary's. Uh, the video is definitely all theirs. But uh, yeah, I mean, it, it 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 sounds good, and everybody seems to quite like it. So well, it's it's catchy, but it's got a great sort of message, as I say, running through it and everything. Um, I like it. It's really really good, and um, it just reminds me of sort of like um, is it a sort of a throwback to almost sort of of uh, the sort of two-tone scar days of the uh, well, very early '80s. There, I think. Well, of course, obviously, the people who've been involved with it, uh, and myself, obviously, my background's uh, that sort of um, ilk as well. So, yeah, everybody's that sort of thing. But I mean, you could uh, put, um, you know, uh, you could say it, it was a bit, um, well, very much specials, and, mm. and I think that's. A lot to do with Roddy's guitar playing as well. Oh, absolutely, yeah, yeah. You can he hear that. It it, well, for yeah. those for those who haven't heard it, we're going to be playing it in a few seconds' time. But uh, it's, it's to find out a little bit about yourself, Sean, and uh, find out what sort of plans. Or well, obviously, with the lockdown at the moment, I suppose all the plans are all on hold. But um, what you sort of got in the pipeline at the moment, and hopefully, once the lockdown's finished, and uh, you can sort of like move forward. 
Well, hopefully the, the, there'll be an LP out of this all, all this stuff. Excellent. Um, in the next couple of months, there's also something I'm doing with a singer called uh, Maxine Tallulah, who's uh, a, a wonderful singer. Uh, and on that, he's going to be bit well. I say bits of the damned. Some of the damned are actually on that song as well. But bits of them. <laughs> Which bits it, it though? Will sound nothing like the damned. Oh, me. fantastic! What an <laughs> arm and a leg and a head, like you know, bits exactly, of bits of them. Yes. yes. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, the, the old, uh, the old bass player. I think he, he's going to be on a couple of numbers. Uh, I think the captain is going to be Captain Sensible, maybe on a couple as well. But oh. we'll, we'll we'll see how that develops. But that will um, that will be a, a different project and another LP and of course I'm still doing stuff with the bees as well. So. Yes you are and obviously um, you know once obviously the lockdown is, uh, the, all the restrictions are lifted uh, obviously you and I are going to get together and obviously I'm going to bring me tape recorder <laughs> <laughs> Yeah I'll bring, I'll bring them down, I'll bring Everett and Mickey down obviously. Oh fantastic. I was going to ask a quick question about Captain Sensible because obviously you do know him um, is he sensible or is it completely the opposite? Well uh, to be honest it's more of uh, our drummer who's uh, who, who's played in a couple of things, he knows him better. And, yeah. Uh, uh, he, he, Captain Sensible is how he seems, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> Captain <laughs> really not, not sensible, sensible then. Oh, <laughs> no, he's, a, he's a fascinating uh, breed of uh, entertainer, I would say. That's, Absolutely. That, 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 that's yes. putting it politely and professionally, I think. But uh, <laughs> oh, I'd love to meet him one day because that would be absolutely fantastic. Um, for now, though, Sean, I'm going to get you to uh, introduce this. Then, obviously, I'm going to hang up on you because it's on the same uh, uh, mixing levels. And so, obviously, I can't play both at the same time. So, I can't have you and the song at the same time. So, so, I would like you now, <clears throat> in your best radio <laughs> DJ voice, right. just to obviously introduce this and uh, just give a nice big thank you for everyone that's involved, please. OK, this is uh, AKA The Syndicate. Uh, it is Hands Up, Who's Coming With Me. Uh, it's written by Gary Knight, uh, trombone, his Fiona, uh, Chris, uh, myself on saxophone, and Rod Young, guitar, and... Uh, Please enjoy. Oh, that is professionally done as well. Uh, you'd be asking me a job next. <laughs> <laughs> Sean, I'll see you soon, my friend. You take care. Right, Stay mate. safe yeah, out there. Too, and yeah, uh, love to the family. Thank you. Yeah. There you we too. go. Sean Williams. Wow. Oh, and we, I think he needs one of these. Yes. There he is. Fantastic. There we go. That was straight off the cuff there. And uh, he's such a good sport. Sean Williams there. And uh, as you know, the uh, saxophone player for the beat, amongst other things. Now he's just introduced this. I think it's only right and fitting that we play this track. What a very powerful, powerful song. And uh, I was talking to Sean Williams, who's uh, obviously contributed there on the sexy saxophone. We've also got Fiona Grease from the collective, a.k.a. Aaron Two-Tone Malone Beard from the Trojan Beats, Gary Knight from the collective, a.k.a. and featuring Roddy Radiation Buyers from the specials, of course, and the Scabillis Rebels. Wow! I am so impressed. That is absolutely a brilliant, brilliant tune. Love it. Thank you very much indeed, Sean, for sharing that with us. OK, it's about the time of the evening now to let you know what's coming up. Here on Target Radio over the next uh, day or so. Starting off this evening then. Okay, after me, 8 o'clock this evening, we've got Nick Dunaway with Now That's What I Call Quite Good. Let's see what we've done there. Got to be careful. Great show. Huge following. At 9 o'clock this evening, we've got Cobbs, you and you, brand new to uh, Target Radio. The U stands for either unsigned or underground, or pretty much both, actually. OK, tomorrow, it's me. I'm back with the Mod and Soul Show from 5. Then uh, Tommy Clark with his third-class ticket show in his new slot, 6 o'clock. At 7 o'clock tomorrow evening on Saturday, the Ice Cream Man. He'll be pulling his first Mr. Whippy. Brand new. First time heard anywhere in the United Kingdom and the world. We're so lucky. The master. That is John Chidlow and his reggae frontline system. 
Yeah, dodgy, scratchy vinyl records. They're included, 8 o'clock. And then from 9, we got the delightful Angie Dorin with her Cat Beast Party. Then uh, tomorrow, uh, sorry, on Sunday from 5, he's back, Mike Thompson. And he's a Beetleology Hour. Yeah, Beetleology is a natural word. Look it up. Beetleology. Go on, put it in your diary right now from 5. Peter Slavage Jazz Hour from 6. Oh, there's some brilliant stuff in there. Honestly, you're really going to enjoy it. Try it. You never know. You might like it. A bit like Marmite, I suppose. But everyone likes Marmite. Repeat after me. Everyone likes Marmite. See? 7 o'clock. Are you on the guest list? No? I'm sure you'll be allowed. 7 o'clock for two great hours of Martin Belmont, the guest list. Another Martin is joining us at 9 o'clock on Sunday evening. That Martin is Martin Fuggles with his Ricky Tick show. Looking forward to that. Great tracks. And then at 10 o'clock, I'm back again. I've got nothing better to do with my new wave experience. 90 minutes of new wave. Pretty much what I'm doing today without less chat. You know, with less chat. Okay, don't forget. Might as well mention it while I'm here. On Monday, I've got a fascinating, and most brilliantly, I think, anyway, that we're going to have a great interview. I'm really looking forward to this. Let me tell you a little bit who it is and when it is. So this Monday from 7 o'clock... We've got none other than Mr. Simon Smedley. He's going to be my very special guest uh, on at 7 o'clock on Monday. If you are an unsigned band or an artist, let Simon take, uh, well, take some interest in what you're doing. And you never know, he may be able to help you uh, create more content and more awareness. But I don't know enough about it, so that is why he's on. And we're going to be asking him all those probing questions. Oh, looking forward to that. Sean Williams has just been on, and he said to me... Well, he's actually asked me something, and I said, yep, absolutely, no problems at all. Thank you very much indeed. (laughs) It's hard to say what I want to say, because obviously I can't say it until it happens. Okay, that's Target Radio anyway for the weekend. I was going to say you don't need to go out, but unfortunately you're not really, you can't really go out anyway. And if you do, please make sure you stand two metres apart uh, from people that you don't know. And if you know your family and they're outside in the same area, two metres apart again. Really, uh, I'm just confused.